Wait, wait. Hey guys, this video is gonna be unedited. I don't fucking care, like. Right? Fuck you, Collinwood! What the fuck was that game against Geelong? Five goals, like 15! The fuck was that? The fuck? You're lucky that last quarter is fucking amazing, or else I'd be fucking stabbing my fucking hair. Fuck you, Collinwood. I'm sick of your recent performance. You're the one quarter team. One fucking quarter. Jesus Christ. What the fuck? Oh, whatever. Yeah. Anyway, fucking hell, Collinwood. Fuck yous. The coaching staff's to blame, not the players. The players are gen- well, Cal Brown and, uh, Josh Thomas aren't, but the players are generally good. The coaches, on the other hand, Buckley, the fuck was that, mate? The fuck? You put more forward until recently. You decided, oh yeah, for the West Coast Eagles game, we're going to try and forward, which is like, okay, experiment. One game. Kick three goals and he's like, oh yeah, we'll keep him there for like five games. And then he finally put him back line for the North Melbourne game, which we didn't need the back line in. Luckily Moore played amazing there. And he played good in the Sydney game. And played amazing in the pop game. Played fucking shit tonight though. But that's because we didn't have him on fucking Cameron. We had it. Cameron kicked two. We had fucking Maynard. He's about... Half the fucking size of Jeremy fucking Cameron. Why couldn't we have more? Why couldn't we have more on Cameron? We had more on Gary fucking Rowan. Who's two inches tall compared to more. More who makes anyone look like a fucking bay bay. Oh, Jesus Christ. Our forward coach is Burton Sanderson. Lead head coach of Adelaide got fucking sacked. Sat act. Wasn't even a Ford in his prime, by the way. You know who was a Ford? Our rock coach, Anthony Rock. One of the only coaches I'd keep. He is a fucking amazing rock coach, but I'd move him forward. I'd move Mark Jamar, head of the tall developments, to rock. And here's my suggestion Ford coach, rocker. Midfield coach, Sam Mitchell, if we can get him, or Dane Swan. Backline coach. Who the fuck is that backline coach? He's good anyway, but who the fuck is he? I don't quite know. Main coach, I generally don't fucking know who can replace Buckley. Robert Harvey? No, he's fucking shit in midfield. As a midfield coach. Just what the fuck was that game against Jolondo? You wanna know what reason? Because name Buckley is shit, our players lose passion. Passion makes us kick shit and play shit. 2020 elimination final, when we played beautiful against the Eagles. Had very accurate kick, and I believe it was 12 goals for. Because we had passion. We wanted to win. We wanted to win. Sure, we lost. We got smashed by Geelong, but that was jet lag and lack of training. But eliminate the preliminary final, 2018. Perfect example. Passion. We just had passion. We wanted to win. We won. We're motivated. We wanted to fucking win. Mick Malthouse was an expert at this. He he kept the players in the wide positions, it only experimented a few times, and just was great because he had because of his coaching, he had passion. The players got passion and motivation. Buckley though, they they wake up and go, oh fuck, I have to train fucking Buckley. Fuck. That makes them lose passion and motivation. That's why the players are playing shit. It's not because, well, it's coaching tactics, but it's not because the players themselves are shit. Except for forward line, but whatever. It's because we don't like, we don't have passion. We don't have any fucking thing. I'm a diehard supporter of this club. You can see that magpie poster. You can see these posters. I have a fucking photo of that cunt up on the wall. Signed. Great player, fucking shit coach. I have this, this, and this. Why do you have to disappoint me this year? I, like, I watched 2016, 2017. Those are shit years, but at least 
we kicked okay at least we were rising you could tell in 2017 when we just bet top eight teams all the time and we lost and we had a good percentage but why are you disappointing me this year collinwood why We've only won two games. One against North, which if you lose against North, you're just fucking shit. <laughs> Sorry, Hawthorne. And Carlton, because Carlton game, we had passion because we fucking hate Carlton. And we just want to beat them to a bloody pulp. Every time we see them. Yeah. But we just have not had the passion. Like, Bulldogs, I get their top one side. So their top two sides, though. They're amazing. Because they have a good coach. Have good passion. Yeah. Another thing I like to talk about, Buckley, our forward line. Why is my check a fucking key? Why is he a fucking key? 192 centimetres is not exactly key height. I would have him on the flank as a veteran. We better get Jackson Callow in the fucking mid-season draft. And we better get fucking Reederman in the trade. Cameron, he's okay. We could keep him. Spare Ruck, beautiful at that. Good kick too. But Bucks, Josh Thomas, Cal Brown on the fucking team still. Both are forwards and both are shit at it. Oh, luckily we got Bo McKeary, but he is injured this game. Fucking hell, Bo McKeary is amazing. I'm waiting for Ali to get back. Ali was good. Ali could crumb and do stuff. Another thing. Why is, are you just so ignoramus? In the draft, we got a key, alright. Liam McMahon. Totally undeveloped because he's a NAB League key. NAB League. And may I remind you, the NAB League is under 18s. You don't get under 18 key forwards, in my opinion. You get their SANFL, Waffle, QFL, TNFL, TSL, and TNFL, whatever, leagues, because they are developed because they play against AFL listed or ex-AFL players and people older than them, which is what you need in the AFL. And Buckley, just, why? Why are you so fucking shit? Look, look, I can get a team having an off season, but this is too much in our off season. I don't blame the trade period. The only good player we got rid of was Stevenson. Trelaw's a ball magnet that always gets injured. Tom Phillips, he was okay, but he's quite young, so we could afford to give it. I know Stevenson's young, but. Stevenson was a small forward. With McKeary, him and Ali, that would have been a great fucking combination. On oh, the go, but I uh, would trade the guy out at the end of the year, in my opinion. He's, yeah, sure, he might be too risky, but... Fuck it. He's just too much trouble, you know, so... He demands so much money, but, um, yeah. And then we have our two buzzers for the... The, 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 or whatever his name is, and... Yeah, yeah, well... Yeah, I mean, he has a cool name and all, but, eh, whatever. Jesus Christ, Buckley, just, why? Why are you disappointing me this year? I am a fucking fan of Collingwood ever since 2010. No, I'm not a bandwagoner from the 2010 Premiership. My pop died that year, and he was a Collingwood fan, so. I fucking idolise Collingwood. The black and white is in my veins. I mean, that would actually be a serious medical condition. It's not actually, but you get what I mean. We need a key, Buckley. Get one in the trade instead of the fucking draft. We need one who's developed. Sam Wiedemann, perfect. His grandpa, his dad both played games for Collingwood. His dad is in the team. He, sorry, his grandpa is in the team of the century. He is a 19 fit. I think it was 1958 Premiership captain. That is amazing. A 1958 Premier He's dead now, but... Sam Wiedemann. Not playing many games at Melbourne. And can't... And is and is only good as a main forward. Collingwood will provide him with that. He could be the main forward. The main key forward option. We need. 
He will kick bags, but no. Fucking Buckley is just a stupid cunt and probably won't even get him in the trade. Thank fuck Ned Guy was on, and thank fuck we have Graham White as the GM. Because Graham White is one of the best GMs of all time. We have Troy Salwood as list manager, which I don't know how it go, but hopefully he goes good. Hopefully. he He's as good as a trade manager, as his brother is as good as a player. So really good, minus the ducking, which Joel Salwood did so much this game, and the umpire need fucking spec savers. But... Uh... Fuck yous, Colin Wood. Just fuck yous, mates. No, sorry, not fuck yous, Colin Wood. Fuck you, Buckley. Fuck you, the coaching staff, except for Rocket and Jamar. And the backline coach. Just fuck yous. All to fucking hell. Goodbye.